Hi, and welcome to my first Visionaire tutorial mini-series, New Game Essentials. This series of tutorials will cover the creation of a new game and the essential game assets that are needed for the game to run. As you can see, when you first start Visionaire, you are given various options to create a new game or load an existing game. The first option to create a new game requires that you know enough about Visionaire to create several game assets that are needed to be defined before Visionaire will run the game. The second option here, create new game with minimal configuration, actually creates a game with those game assets already created, but you will have to modify them to meet your needs. Most of the time, I choose the first option which creates an empty game with no game assets. This lets me create everything the way I want with no cleanup needed. However, you do have to create the minimum set of game assets in order for the game to run, but that's what this tutorial series is for. It takes you step by step through the creation of each of these game assets that you need to get your game working. So let's choose Create New Game and then click on Continue. If you receive this info dialog box, that's just in reference to the fact that you need uh, a file structure uh, in the same folder as where you're saving your, your Visionaire uh, game file at. If you viewed the, my first video on how to set up a Visionaire project, then you should be all set to go from here. Okay, so just choose OK and we'll continue on. Now. It's asking me where do I want to save this. So I'm going to save this right here and replace, yes. All right, so if you'll notice that uh, Visionaire's interface is divided up into three distinct sections. There's the toolbar on the far left here. The uh, next to that is the game assets area. And then there's a main window that defines a lot of the game properties. And as we can see right now, we're in the very first section, which is the game section. And it's represented by this cogwheel here. For the purposes of this tutorial, there's only really one setting that we need to change. Because I know that my scenes are defined with a resolution of 1280 by 720, I'm going to change the resolution here of that, the option for resolution. I'm going to change that to 1280 by 720. Other than that, for now, those are all the properties that we need to change for this tutorial series. So this concludes this video, and the next one to come will be creating a scene. Hope to see you then.